Okay, I'm here with Kelly Kozumchak, um, the Gr Green Party of Allegheny County Treasurer, and we're gonna discuss a few items um, about our fundraising initiatives and about the new finance committee that Kelly is leading. Hi, Kelly. Hi, thanks so much, Ron. I have a few questions for you about um, being a treasurer, if that's okay. Sure, yeah, okay. I'd love to tell you. <laughs> my, I tell you all about it. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> it sounds good to me. Um, my first question for you is when the Green Party raises money, whether it be for the party infrastructure itself or for candidates, how is that money kind of used? Like what, what are some of the purposes of that cash? So we have some operating costs as an organization in the 21st century, right? So we have uh, different online accounts that we have. We have to keep our Zoom running, um, especially in this day and age where every meeting is online. Uh, we also have, um, most of our costs actually go toward raising more money, which is kind of counterintuitive, but um, it's either raising money or getting turnout to events. So we print out literature for different events. A lot of our events are co-sponsored by other organizations. Um, so we will go into the community and hand out flyers and let people know what events are coming up. And then we'll also hand out our flyers about our party and just let them know what's up. Um, and that leads them to our social media and that gets them connected into our network. So let me, let me ask you a question as being that we're in COVID times, um, I'm assuming that the printing out of flyers and handing them out and a lot of touching people probably isn't happening as much right now. Um, right. So are you in more of like a planning stage for those kinds of things or are you finding other interesting ways to do the same work but online? Right, so that's a really great question. Um, we are still raising money online. Uh, we have a link on our website and on each of our candidates' websites, they have their own links to their campaign. So we are also doing a lot of planning right now. Um, our fundraising committee has just started up and uh, we've had two meetings so far, but uh, we're looking forward and we are coming up with different fundraising ideas for the future, for when we can host events again, but we're also determining where our time is best spent right now, whether we should be reaching out to our current members or whether we should be looking into more online fundraising efforts. If a member of the Green Party wanted to join the Finance Committee, um, do they have to have any kind of special financial training in advance? Absolutely not. Um, I had no special financial training when I started as um, the treasurer for Jay Walker's campaign in 2018. Um, to be a, a campaign treasurer, you basically just have to know how to use a spreadsheet and how to fill out paperwork. And I will, now that I have experience, I will obviously help any new treasurers with any of the paperwork questions they have and I can set them up with a template. So it's really low um, like entry barrier. <laughs> um, so yeah, you just have to know how to use a spreadsheet. You don't have to know about tax laws or campaign finance laws. I've learned a lot of the campaign finance laws as I've gone, um, but I'm there to help. And we are definitely looking for campaign treasurers, especially moving into 2021. We will be running greens uh, for local office all over the county. So we would love to have a different treasurer for each campaign so that it's not all on one person. And when you just have one campaign to deal with, it's, it's really not a whole lot of effort, but it makes a huge difference to the candidate and their campaign. Do you know off the top of your head how many campaigns there will be next year? I do not know off the top of my head, but I know that we have a list of about five to seven um, municipalities that we are actively recruiting in right now and sort of feeling out what the, um, you know, what the voting history is there, what our chances are if we do find candidates. So we, we have a, 
a research effort going for about seven different municipalities throughout the county. So that's a potential of, of, several, of seven campaign, or I'm sorry, seven campaign treasurers that will be needed then, possibly. Absolutely. Um, or even more than that, because, you know, within those municipalities, there's um, borough or city or whatever um, council members, there are school board members. So there are several different positions in each of those municipalities that we would possibly run candidates for as well. And a, and a treasurer's job is not really just limited to paperwork. It can be an active campaign staff member as well, right? Um, helping to get the message out for a candidate and doing other fun, more fun activities as well as just rather than just gruelingly filling out paperwork all day. Yeah, right. So um, being the campaign treasurer does mean that those are your responsibilities, the, the somewhat, what mo some may call more boring tasks. Um, <laughs> I like them, but you can also absolutely do some canvassing. You can do the fun stuff, um, talking to people and getting the word out about the campaign. Um, if you aren't necessarily the treasurer type, you can still join the finance committee and you can help with um, coming up with fundraising event ideas, helping to plan the event. You can just be the point person for an event. Um, that's always helpful to have, you know, one person who knows every detail about one event that we're having because then all that information doesn't have to be in someone else's brain who's also keeping track of all the finances and the budget and everything else. So the more people we have who we can give specific roles, the better. And whatever your skill set is, we will find a place for you in the finance committee. Okay. Now, my, I have another question for you that's a little bit more personal, and that is, what kind of drew you into wanting to do treasurer activities when you don't have a financial background originally? Like, what made you kind of want to do this kind of work? Yeah, so um, <laughs> part of that answer is I am a people pleaser. I don't say no. <laughs> um, so when my friend Jay said, hey, I'm running for office and I need a person who is good with spreadsheets who could do this job for me. And it would be like not a whole lot of effort, but a little bit of a learning curve. And I love learning and I love spreadsheets. You can ask anyone. Um, <laughs> I just suggested to my sister today that I should create a spreadsheet for something. And she was like, we don't need a spreadsheet for that. I'm like, but we could have one. <laughs> <laughs> so I love spreadsheets. I love data and I love learning. So I was up for the challenge and I just wanted to help my friend in any way I could. So if you're looking to plug in and help in any way you can, we can always find a spot for you. How can people, the general public, or members of the Green Party here locally in, in the Pittsburgh region, how can we all contribute financially to the Green Party to ensure long-term health? Right, great question. So anyone is always welcome to donate to our party. Um, you can donate online on our website or on our candidates' websites. We could always use money because it takes money to make money. And um, if you can't contribute financially, we've already gone over plenty of volunteering efforts uh, that you can do. But um, in terms of finances, we, we do have membership dues that are suggested dues. So we, we won't turn anyone away because of an inability to pay dues, but we obviously need to keep operating so we have some costs that we need to cover so we have membership dues set at a recommended five dollars a month um and members can go online to our website uh alleghenygreens.org donate and under the donation section there's a little one time or monthly option and if you just pick the monthly option and you select however much you can afford to tribute can afford to contribute per month, um, then that will automatically be um, given to us each month. So that would be a huge help if all our members who want to contribute just go online and fill out your dues. It makes my life a lot easier too because it's all automated. 
and to the people out there who might see this video, if you're not already a member of the Green Party and, and you're not sure if you even want to really join the Green Party, but you want to support our initiatives and our pursuits of peace and justice and ecology and um, if you have a, a stake in trying to pursue Medicare for all or other um, very hot topic issues, you can also make a one-time contribution through our website, which is Alleg AlleghenyGreens.org. I have the website correct, right? Yes, yes. As, as the media coordinator, I think I should have that website <laughs> on pretty tough. I don't know, you know, you, you never know. So. It's always good to double check. Okay. Um, I think that's all we have for this short little video with Kelly. Um, unless you have something else you'd like to add? I think I've said plenty of times, you know, whatever your skills are, we can find a, find a place for you. Even if it's not with the finance committee, um, you know, I would always love help with the finance committee, but if none of the options that I've laid out are your thing, we have plenty of committees to join. Um, and finance committee doesn't require any prior knowledge, but it's always welcome. Okay, thank you, Kelly. I really appreciate you taking the time today to interview with me. And we will thank have you. this up on our YouTube channel as soon as possible. And in our newsletter come July. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye.